Okay, so the other day I noticed that one of my videos exceeded 10,000 views, uh, which is more views than all other videos combined on my channel. So there must be some interest in recursive descent parsing. Um, so why not make a part two? Part one has already been quite some time. I, I, I believe it was uh, filmed at the end of 2015 or something. So what could we do in part two? Um, right, so we already covered these topics, addition, multiplication, single digit numbers and parentheses. And um, a couple of viewers asked, asked about multi digit numbers. So numbers like, I don't know, one, two, three. <laughs> we only supported single digit numbers up, up until now. And um, I would also like to talk about um, numbers with a decimal point, so like 0 0.123. Okay, um, what happens in our current program um, when we when we try to pass a multi-digit number? Let, let me go to the main function and see what happens. So let's initialize x to a multi-digit string. And um, I changed all the types from int to double, so the transition to the decimal point shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so pass sum. Um, as you may remember, we first have to pass uh, a product. Uh, inside product, we first have to pass a factor. And inside factor, we um, check whether we have um, a digit or an opening parent. Okay, so we have a digit. So we compute the distance between the one and the zero, which should be one. And then we increment the pointer quite quite much going on in, in this one expression. Um, right, so left should be one, let's see. Right, left is one, inside pass product. Um, now there's nothing left to multiply. Um, so we can re return, it, uh, return it one level up. Um, left is one, uh, there's nothing left to add. So we can also return from pass sum. And then we simply, right, print one to the console. So the rest of the digits two and three are silently ignored, which is maybe not so clean. So um, I wrote an additional function called, um, let's see, pass formula. Pass formula. Let's see how I implemented that one. So it simply calls pass sum and then checks whether we are at the end of the string, which would be here. Um, and if we are not at the end of the string, we print an error message. So let me speed this one up. We don't have to see all intermediate steps and we should see an error message now. Um, ah, right, <laughs> right. This is uh, because in my IDE, um, it, it immediately crashes when you forget to return a value from a function which uh, promises to return a value, which is, which is uh, a good thing. Okay, expected end of input, but found two, right. Okay, so, now let's see, let's, let me make this a little smaller. We don't need so much space in the terminal down there. Um, let's, let me go back to pass um, factor. So here um, it's probably going to be, a, or going to get more complicated if we want to pass multiple digits. So let me call another function, pass number, which doesn't, which doesn't exist yet. Um, let me declare it here pass number, so I can think top down and implement it below. Pass factor, um, pass number. Okay. And um, in, in a video I did three months ago, I explained that if you have a number like one to three, you can think of it as one times a hundred plus two times 10 plus three times one. And then you can um, rewrite this as one times 10 plus two times 10 plus three. Okay, and if you want to be really hardcore, you can even rewrite this more, zero times 10 plus one, and then we need an additional parent here. Why, why would you write it this way? Um, because this is a nice, um, basis for an implementation, we can simply start with a value zero. And each time we see an additional digit, we multiply our number by 10 and add the digit. And if we see another digit, multiply by 10 and add the digit. And if we see another digit, again, multi multiply by 10 and add the digit. This is a 
rather simple algorithm. So let's let's call it number. Let's start at zero, which is this zero. Um, and then we need the while loop to check if we have another digit. So let me simply copy paste um, this condition. In real code, you would extract this to into a function, but I don't want to make it too complicated here. Okay. Um, okay, now I can simply say, um, right, we have to multiply by 10. So number equals number times 10. And then we have to add the current digit. So that would be uh, the distance between star x and zero because it's a string and we have to extract the digits. Um, I explained this in, is in, in the last video. Okay, um, and we have to increment the pointer so we can um, look at the next digit. Right, and then we have to return the number. This already looks pretty good. So let's see if this works. Um, oh, <laughs> um, three. Uh, that doesn't look very correct. What did we do wrong? Ah, I didn't. I didn't add the number. Okay. Uh, let me let me go back to individual stepping. Let's step into pass number. Here we are, and let's see if we can understand the algorithm. Um, you know what? I think it would be even more simple if we called pass number directly, because then we don't have all these intermediate stack frames here. That should be a little simpler to explain. Okay, um, right. So we start with the number zero. We haven't read any digits yet. And then we check, uh, does x point to a digit? Yes, it does. So let's enter the loop. We multiply our number by t by 10, which is not really useful in the first step, but um, um, it would be more complicated to not do this. <laughs> okay, and then we can add the first digit. So we should add one to zero, which should be one, right? Okay, that first digit worked. So let's increment the pointer. We have another digit, so let's multiply the number by 10. So this should be one times 10 is 10. And then we add the next digit, which is two. So this should be 12. Okay. Then we go to the next digit. Three is still a digit. So let's multiply by 10. 12 times 10 is 120. And then we add the three, which is 123. And then we are at the end of the string and nothing left to do. Uh, we can simply print the number, right? Okay. So this was relatively simple. Um, the next test, uh, let's do something like maybe 4.123. Um, let's just do one digit so the first while loop doesn't, doesn't take too long. So um, when the first while loop is done, uh, the pointer points to this de uh, decimal point. The pointer points to the point. Let's see if it indeed does point to a point because the point is not mandatory. You, you shouldn't need um, to write it. So if we indeed see a point, let's uh, consume it. Uh, and then we can look at the, uh, at the next digit. So how would we, uh, how would we approach this uh, systematically? So if we have something like 0 0.1 to 3, that would be 1 times 0.1, right? Um, plus 2 times 0 0.01 plus 3 times 0 0.001. So each time we see an additional digit, um, we must scale it by some weight, which uh, gets smaller and smaller uh, with, is, with uh, each digit. But um, I think this, this is it. We don't need anything more complicated. Okay, so um, the first weight is uh, one divided by 10. So maybe let's simply start um, by one, and each time we see a digit, uh, we divide the weight by 10. Weight increments weight divided by 10. Um, and then we have to add the current digit multiplied by the weight. So maybe let's, let's make one more temporary va variable for this, maybe, um, scaled or, or just digit, I don't know. Um, that would be weight 
it, or let me do it exactly like we did uh, here. So that would be star x minus zero um, multiplied by the weight. Yeah, let's not call it digit, that's too confusing. Um, let's call it scaled. Okay, and then we simply add this scaled digit to the number. And let's not forget to advance the pointer. Um, okay, let's see if this works. We can simply start our program with this interesting number. Um, okay, this is the first digit. This is not really interesting. We already explained this. Okay, now it's getting interesting. So the number is uh, four up until now, because four is before the decimal point. Uh, now we check for decimal point. Indeed, there is one. So let's jump over the decimal point. Let's begin with a weight of one. And um, we see a digit, so let's enter the loop. And now we, we immediately divide the weight by 10, so it should be 0 0.1. There we are. And then the scale digit should be, um, should be 0 0.1, right? Because one times 0 0.1 should be um, 0 0.1, right? And then we add the 0 0.1 to our number, which should be 4.1. Okay, and we advance the pointer. Now we point to the next digit, which is still a digit. So let's enter the loop again. And now we scale the weight down one more time. We divide it by 10, so it should be 0 0.01. There we are. And the next digit is 2 times 0 0.01. So that should be 0 0.02. There we are. Then we add this to 4.1, which would be 4.12. <laughs> okay, this is uh, <laughs> this is your typical uh, IEEE 754 rounding errors. So there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, it's approximately 4.12. Uh, let's go to the next digit, which is still a digit. Let's divide the uh, weight by 10 one more time, which should be 0 0.001. There we are. So three times 0 0.001 should be 0 0.003. And when we add this, I have no idea what happens now. Let's see. Uh, right, we get approximately 4.123. Advance the pointer, no more digits. So we can return to main and print the result. And all right, this looks a little bit better than the real value, maybe just because we don't print um, that many digits. Okay, so maybe as a last test, let's um, put this back to pass. Um, I already forgot the formula, right? And let's uh, make one more complicated example. Maybe, um, I don't know, one plus two is three times 0 0.5 should be 1.5, right? Just uh, fast forward and see if the right result comes out. Oh. Formula pass. What what did I do there? Pass formula. Okay. Right. One point five. So the rest uh, still seems to work. Okay. Um, right. So what did we do? So we, we implemented multi-digit numbers. We implemented the the decimal point, and there's um, at least two additional videos uh, we could do about additional mathematical operations, and maybe. A better error handling when you have an error right in the middle of a formula how do how do we get back to main without crash, crashing the program um, so let's see if you can fit pass number on one screen oh that's very nice <laughs> okay um, right so I hope this was illuminating and uh, we'll see each other in the next video